Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Andrew Sarkis in Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> The Andrew Sarkis is one of the new creatures that is available in Ark Survival Evolve's new Fjordher map, and it's a bit of an odd one. It's essentially a turret-mounted minigun on top of a giant dog that happens to be one of the best swimmers in the game, which, uh, yeah, it's, as I said, a bit of an odd one. In order to get an Andrew Sarkis, what you're first going to need to do is know where they're located, and I'm going to use the Creature Finder Deluxe in order to do that for me, so I'll just search for Andrew, and as you can see, they're located in a little cluster in the southwest corner of the map and in a band in the northeast corner. It is a passive tame to tame an Andrew Sarkis, and uh, all that means is you need to crouch up near them, and uh, they are aggressive if you get too close, especially if you get too close in front of them, and unfortunately they're usually in packs, which makes it a bit of a pain to uh, get close enough to them. Uh, as you can see, I get a little too close to these ones here, and the one on the right aggros to me, which aggros the other one, and then I'm, you know, up to my neck in giant dogs. In order to do the tame, you will need to get some honey, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, it's just a joke. But you will need some honey, uh, because what you're going to do in order to tame the Andrusarchus is you're going to crouch near them, and then you're going to throw some honey as bait to get them to go and eat it. Once they eat the honey, you're going to run up next to them really quickly, and then you're going to mount them, because this is going to have a mounting riding mini game similar to the Equus. The difference here is that you will see that there is a couple of arrows pointing left and right. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the arrow that's white, and it'll turn green. When it turns red, you let go of the arrow. And as long as you're holding the correct arrow at the correct time, either left and right, you will slowly build up tame. Now, I was able to ride this uh, Andrew Sarkis for about 40 seconds before it dismounted me, and I'm on a five times multiplier tame server, and this is a 145, so that gives you some sense of the amount of time you're going to take. Now, after 40 seconds, I do get kicked off, and things get unfortunate rather quickly, but as long as you get away quick enough, you can eventually reset, and they don't lose too much of their taming effectiveness. So if you do manage to fully tame your Andrew Sarkis, you're probably going to end up with, uh, well, a name like I got here. So uh, I'm just really happy I wasn't holding right. Otherwise, this guy would be called... Once you've got the Andrew Sarkis, you don't actually need a mount in order to ride it. And it has a couple abilities available to it. If you press C, it will do a charge, of which you have about three charges of the charge, and which allows you to run right through... Lots of obstacles, you'll actually destroy rocks and destroy trees. If you whip your camera around really quickly, the Andrew Sarkis will do a sliding animation because the Andrew Sarkis has a really, really crappy turning radius. So every now and then you can whip your camera around and you will be able to do a slide. You can see in the lower left, there's a little charge meter for how often you're able to do the slide. The Andrew Sarkis has two basic attacks. The left click attack is your standard bite at the front thing kind of attack, nothing terribly outlandish there. The right click attack is a rear kicking attack which uh, shoots little little creatures very very far away. It's uh, very satisfying. I did check to see whether or not this was like the Equus and it did apply Torpor and unfortunately it appears that it does not, or at least it doesn't to this poor little Pteranodon. Uh, but at least there's that. In order to make the saddle for the Andrew Sarkis, because you're going to want to make the saddle, you need to be level 74, and it, uh, it costs 45 engram points in order to unlock, and it's very easy to make. It just requires fiber, a little bit of metal, and a little bit of hide. It's very, very low cost for what you get, because what you get is an airtight turret with a minigun on it. This thing's nuts. The minigun itself takes uh, advanced rifle rounds, so it will be very expensive to operate. But I mean, all you need to do is toggle it with control on PC. Sadly, I don't know what it is on uh, consoles. Uh, and <laughs> when you hold right click, you're shooting a minigun. And uh, if you can't have fun shooting a minigun, I, I, I can't help you really. Also, you can go into first person mode on the minigun, which is uh, honestly not very useful, I don't think, but it is really cool to look at. The damage per shot on the minigun isn't very high, but it does have an extreme high rate of fire, which gives it a good DPS over time. You can keep your ammo in your inventory or in the inventory of the Andrew Sarkis. 
The Androsarcus moves very quickly in shallow water, provided it's below about its hip. But once you get into deep water, it will move a little slower, but now, as long as you have the turret saddle, you don't require oxygen. This thing's a submarine, and the Androsarcus itself has a remarkably high oxygen stat, so you can swim around in this thing for a very long time. And yes, indeed, the minigun does also operate while underwater, so uh, that's, that's just incredible, honestly. With all that in mind, the Androsarcus also has pretty decent stats with regards to health and weight and so on. So this is a very well-rounded utility mount that I think everybody in ARC should get their hands on. Do you have any more tips with the Androsarcus? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.